Yo what's up guys, today I've got another loot video for you and this time it is on 1000 Glacors. Now whenever I ask at the end of my loot videos I always see Glacors and Tormented Demons and funnily enough those are the ones that I used to actually like spam the most when I was starting up making my account. Those two were always like my go to money makers back in the day when Dragon Claws were worth like 30 mil and the Steadfast Boots were worth like 45 mil. But obviously Glacors were a lot harder to kill back in the day because EOC hadn't come out yet. So I can guess that's why the boots have dropped in price, I mean not even better boots have come out, I mean you need these boots in order to make the better boots. So I don't think the price drop in boots has anything to do with the new ones that came out because you need these normal boots anyway. Glacors had become so much easier with EOC so I'm guessing that's why they dropped in price. But even with today's prices they are still worth quite a bit, I mean Steadfasts are around 11 mil, Glaven are like 6.5 and Ragefire are around 3 mil. So even if you do get one of those drops you are going to be making quite a bit of money and their normal drops are fairly decent as well. But before we go into the actual drops let's talk about timings. I killed around 90 Glacors in 1 hour so in total this took me just over 11 hours to do and honestly they went by pretty fast. I think I just watched like the whole first season of Westworld whilst I killed them. Would definitely recommend that show to anyone watching by the way. And we did get lucky a couple of times but taking into account the whole of the 1000 kills I think overall we were quite unlucky. But anyway, let's get into the drops because I don't want to ramble on for too long. From 1000 Glacors, we ended up getting around 24 mil. Now as you can see straight away from the top there, we did end up getting a couple of boot drops. We got the Steadfast boots and we got the Ragefire boots. Now I would show you the footage of me actually getting these boot drops, but this is all you would see. For some reason OBS, which is the thing that I record with by the way, just does this sometimes. It just gives me a black screen but I can hear the audio in the background as well. It just doesn't pick up that RuneScape is actually up and that I'm playing it. And sometimes if I'm distracted like I was during this time, I was just watching Westworld like I said earlier, I just didn't realise that it was recording nothing. So whenever I got these two boot drops I hit record and it would just recorded this black screen. So yeah, that's kind of unfortunate, but at least you get to see it in this price check. I think I got these both within like 400 kills and then the rest of the 600 kills I just went dry. And from what I remember, I mean, I don't know if this has changed or not, but boot drops were 1 in 300 or 1 in 350. At least that's what I was led to believe a long time ago. I'm really not sure on what the current drop rate of these boots are, but I mean, that's what I was told back in the day and that's what I kind of believed. Now I just looked online to see the current boot drop rate and it's just a lot of people just saying different stuff, 1 in 300, 1 in 350, 1 in 375, 1 in 512. So it just seems like no one knows what the actual drop rate is, but I mean if it is 1 in 300 or 1 in like 350, then you can actually say that we got pretty unlucky with these boot drops. In theory there should have been another one in there, but I guess we did just get unlucky. I mean we could have got more unlucky than this and just got like either one boot drop or none. So I guess we were quite fortunate to get two anyway. And also another big money maker to point out is if you look at my inventory I got 82 shards of armadil. Now I believe the drop rate of these is 1 in 10, so we should have got 100 of these from these 1000 kills. However instead we only ended up getting 82 and that means that we can't make a orb of armadil which is what you need to add to the battle staff to make an armadil battle staff. If you didn't already know you need 100 of these shards of armadil in order to add it onto a staff and that will make you I think it's worth like 11 mil at the moment. So if you take into account what these shards of armadil are actually worth it comes out to around 9 mil. All I have to do is camp those glacials a bit longer for those 18 extra shards and then that will end up in me getting 11 mil. So let's just add that 9 mil onto the price check and that will make it around 33.5 mil earned from these 1000 kills. And like I said earlier it took me 11 hours in order to do this so that means that I made over 3 mil an hour. Now honestly I thought it was going to be quite a bit less than this, I thought I was going to make like 2.4 to 2.2 mil an hour, so that actually ended up surprising me and like I said earlier I thought I got unlucky doing this. However if the boot drops are 512 then obviously I didn't get unlucky, I just got like the normal drops, but if anyone does know the drop rate just let me know down in the comments. So just looking down on the rest of the price check, we ended up getting 23,000 headless arrows which equated to almost 2 mil. On top of that also got 35 rune plate legs which were like 1.2 mil, a bunch of water talismans which were 1.1, 46 rune battle staffs which were around 1 mil and 56 rune long swords which were also around 1 mil. So those are the main items and honestly the normal drops aren't too bad, they're not really anything special but they're not really anything too poor either, they're just kind of average which they should be to be honest because if you think about it the shards of armadil are going to be dropping every 1 in 10 kills and whenever you do actually end up getting 100 of these shards of armadil you'll get a guaranteed 10 to 11 mil. So I guess that can be kind of classified as a normal drop as well. But anyway guys, that is the end of this loot video. Please let me know which other loot videos you'd like to see in the future. And as always, thank you for watching, subscribe if you're new, and peace.